This episode of Rot to Rot to You. This episode of Rot to You by. Uh, we've been talking for a, a minute. We get to the. <laughs> This episode of Rodeo Time <laughs> is brought to you by. <laughs> it's brought to you by Rock and Roll Denim. Thank you, <laughs> thank you to Reflex Denim specifically for uh, this episode where we find out are Donnie and Katrin dating. <laughs> Um, so we we literally do answer that question. Are they dating? And so stick around if you'd like to listen to all of that. But we answer your dating questions. We talk about Dale's new bunker. And uh, we talk about, you know, horses and all the things current in, in rodeo time, etc. So thanks for joining us. Now on to the podcast. <laughs> what? Time. Got to get her on down the road. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Rodeo Time. Can you get situated? I am situated. You good? Yeah, you're just on my stuff. To Rodeo Time, the podcast. Sorry for that interruption, <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mr. Leroy Gibbons on my right, and uh, the lovely couple, Donnie Ray Daytona, and <laughs> Katrin, Katrin Daytona. So, <laughs> first off, sorry, I didn't mean to hit it that time. I would like to thank Mr. Sterling Crawley for introducing us to the, what's it called? Ramp the horn? rap horn. Rap horn. Rap horn. It's the greatest thing uh, ever. Like, yeah. We've just been doing it with our mouths. We've been living right. in this st- yeah. <laughs> stone oh, no. age. Wait. Yeah, we've been. <laughs> uh, how we would normally do it is welcome to the Rodeo Town podcast. <laughs> And Donnie would do that. And um, Sterling, which Sterling said he actually liked that better. Yeah, he's but more flavor. I like the 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 horn. Oh yeah, and it makes I me completely feel. forgot about it until you just hit the horn. <laughs> yeah, and so thank you. You bet for bringing it back. I got a womp. Before we get any further, um, I'd like to thinking about it all day. Oh yeah, you? like for since <laughs> oh, since so hard to use that horn. I've been like forgetting about it and remembering. And I was like, oh, I can't forget to do. The, I've been setting alarms every day <laughs> for thirty. <laughs> That alarm was already set. You're just now using that alarm to yes. remind yourself of something different. Mm-hmm. Yeah, about a year ago, I said, Donnie, don't forget to let me know to um, post a video at 4.30. So he set an alarm, <laughs> and he set it recurring. And every day at 4.30, his alarm goes off. But now it's more to – it's 3.30, though. So how good is that alarm doing oh, you today? Yeah. I, I turned it off. It'll come up. You'll I, do the I, deal. I we. turned it off a couple of weeks ago. Oh, okay. Life's been kind of empty lately. <laughs> um, before we get any further, I'd like to uh, give Caitlin a hard time. She's the only one not wearing Dale wear. And she is... Uh, I told her. She's <laughs> in charge of graphic design, um, which I just, Willie... Earlier, we did a rodeo time, and Willie um, didn't wear rock and roll denims. And Gabe and, didn't and wear and a radio so, and so yeah, I just, I just, a Jack Daniel shirt. I don't know if y'all remember how we hit. No. What? Let me try it again. Let me try it again. Dang, it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever I clapped, dang. Remember I clapped and it just. Oh yeah, and the rodeo his pants time. came off, and yeah. then his pants came off, and we had to put it. Weird. Shirt, shirt doesn't come off. Your power only doesn't work here. It's a chastity shirt. <laughs> your Dang powers it. only work on dudes. Dang. <laughs> That's upsetting my, for you. My clapping powers only work on dudes. This is going downhill. Never yeah. mind. <laughs> okay. Well, whatever. She's the only one, but she's she's worked here the longest. So, are you uncomfortable, Leroy? Yeah. Just that. Where's this podcast going? <laughs> I'm just trying to make sure everybody gets in ro- rodeo top gear. This Usually, whenever really you clap, good. <laughs> it switches, and your shirt switches. Uh, they're what? Anyway. <clears throat> I asked Donnie, and Donnie was like, nah, you look great. You always look so good. That's it because doesn't matter dated. what you wear. Verbatim. <laughs> That's because y'all have dated. Actually, he came in here, and he was like, hey, um, I'm, I'm just saying you look fine, but if you want to change, 
you can. <laughs> everyone on the podcast, everyone listening to the podcast just noticed how you guys didn't um, debate whether, you know, after I said that you dated. Neither one of you, neither one of you <laughs> confirmed nor denied that. And you're still not. That's interesting. So, Leroy, how's things been? Mm, interesting. Mm. I thought that's all we were going to talk about. We are going to okay. eventually. Um, but I want to talk yeah, about... Yeah, we don't want to give away too much too soon. I want to see what the... You already did. You've given away some. Mm. You've given enough to make us interested. So, we're going to find out. We're going to get to the bottom of this at the end of this podcast. By the end of this podcast. Whether or not these two kids have uh, dated. Um, <coughs> there's a lot going on at the ranch. We've had some uh, some horses in and out, and uh, but another thing that's going in and out at Radiator Ranch is a potential bunker. What, Donnie? Nothing. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. It's a bunker <laughs> that I'm thinking about putting in, and uh, I've got a building at the ranch it's a round building i don't know what it was used for it's a circle <laughs> it's it's a circle and it's almost like it was used to like put people in like a little prison it does look like a little prison it Where looks is like this? a little prison it's by the over bu- by the arena behind the bucket that shoes. round building oh it's currently being used as storage you remember we went in there that time <laughs> Probably not for very long because this book is hot. Yeah, it's hot. <laughs> it's crap in there. Yeah, no, I know what you're talking about. <coughs> oh, that's that's what did it for now you. I, now now you remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, so, I anyways, um, yeah. So, I'm thinking about doing a bunker. Okay. I I feel like that's interesting. <laughs> it is. Everybody's just staring at me. I feel like that's a pretty interesting <laughs> thing. I didn't know like, if we were allowed to talk or not yet. Well, <coughs> yeah, it's permission to speak freely. I think it's I think it's a cool idea. I think bunkers are neat. I like basements. I like stuff underground. I like to live underground. So therefore, bunker. Have you ever lived underground? I've lived in a basement. You look like you've lived in a basement. <laughs> 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 so it's pale skin because you're redheaded and you lived in a basement. Was it your mom's basement? No. Was, was the lock on the inside or the outside? <laughs> <laughs> Both. <laughs> Donnie's in the basement. I hadn't seen Donnie in a few weeks. <laughs> yeah, he made his mom mad. What did he do? Ah, he's just redheaded. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so if you guys out there in podcast land have ever, if you know anything about bunkers, hit me up on my text message deal. Text podcast to 35 or 806, what is it? 940. <laughs> 940 353 0890. <laughs> Looks and at Leroy. <laughs> I forgot my own phone number out. for a second. How often do you have to say your own phone number? Often enough, you should remember it, which I did. It gave me a second. I, I took a second. But I, anyway, 940-353-0890. Text me the word podcast, and then let me know your thoughts on a bunker. Should or should I? Shouldn't I? Shan't I? I think should yeah. shan't. Definitely shan't. Yes. <laughs> should or shan't I do a, a bunker? Or if you have, what are the do's and don'ts mm. in putting mm. in a bunker? Mm. That's what we want to know. Yeah. Mm. I just because I feel like it's gonna happen. Do you so we need to know. It? Do you tar yeah. it? Like, what do you do? See, my first thought was a, a container, you know, Excalibur. I don't know if you guys have seen my you've used guys. I don't know if you hey, guys. guys. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have seen. I did it again. I don't know if y- y'all. You, you guys. Y- yant y'all. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if y'all have seen my Instagram lately, where we just installed two more container cabins. Here at the warehouse for interns, but um, the container life—it's a good life, dude. You know what I was thinking about? Excalibur. Those containers the other day. We sh- you should have had them put a, a patio on top of the twenty footer. That's too tall. No way. That would That's really way mean. too much liability. The <laughs> current patio is too much liability. <clears throat> it's not that I don't you trust th- you think Willie. Too small. It's that oh, I don't trust the lawyer that would come to Willie's bedside table and convince him that Dale Brisby isn't whole. I, is Willie... I don't feel like it would take much convincing. Is Willie living in the 20-footer? I'm not saying he is or he isn't, but what, but do you, don't you think he would go up on top of it if there was a patio? I think only the person that lives in the 20-footer has permission to go up there. Whether they have permission or not, it's do they have access. And since he would live in the vicinity, oh, it's VIP. Look, he would have access. I'm going to get up and there he would get up there. <laughs> <laughs> You might as well put rail If I put a guardrail, <laughs> yeah. then it's like I'm inviting it's people welcoming, to go up yeah. there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
right, you know, fair enough. I feel fair like enough. that would be a pretty easy court case for me to win if it's just like if you ta- if you climbed the tallest tree on the ranch and fell off of it. Like, well, what's his job? He edits videos. <laughs> what was he doing in the tree? I don't know. Be like, you know what I'm saying? Like that. I mean, you might win. It's like it said hot coffee on the side of the coffee cup when you before you drink. I digress. Going back to my, why I brought these up. I think I was, my original plan was to put one of these containers in the ground, which I thought was foolproof. But my man at Excalibur, he like, he's like, I'm going to shoot you straight. You know, it'd be great for you to buy another container. But if you just put it in the ground, the, the, eventually the floor is going to rot out. And it's, you know, it's going to get weak in the corners and eventually it's going to give in. Now, I don't think he's talking about my lifetime. I think he's talking about maybe like my kid's lifetime. So like he... He he wants it to to last for me. So you have kids. Well, my my metaphorical kids. Like oh, okay. if I do have, it's just like, you know, like when we say like, we're leaving this country in our kids' hand. Like, they're hypothetical children, Leroy. Don't take okay. it. Don't I feel take like you could have kids at like seriously. sixty. I feel like that's when you'll be ready to have kids. <clears throat> Aren't you like sixty-five already? <laughs> it's I'm a man of mystery. I mean, I'm wearing shades inside. So secret agent man. So I'm not going to do the, and besides that, like these containers are worth enough on top of the ground, you know, like I'll just use something else I already got to put mm-hmm. under the ground. Mm. Mm. And the building you are going to put in there being round, there's no corners to fall in. It's right. It's a circle. It's, it's a circle. It's a circle. It's a circle. <laughs> round and round. It's not like a square or a triangle. It does have corners. It does have corners. The end. Do you think you could live in a bunker, Leroy? Uh, yeah. I mean, not like Nazi daylight, but yeah, like if that was my house, yeah. Yeah, I guess it'd be like a a normal house with the with the blinds drawn. You don't have to really worry about AC. It's gonna probably be cold all year. That'd yeah, you nice. save a fortune on electricity. Mm-hmm. I, I would have a clapper when you walk in. Everything I, I thought out. I had one. Dale's Apparently, doesn't it doesn't work. work. Don't don't get him to I'm picturing it. just like a single light bulb hanging. From that's the what bed. I was picturing. <laughs> like a little bitty chain. <laughs> if I was living in it, no, no. it was like this bunker. That's like, what I was picturing. Yeah. Like that's when you hear the word bunker, it sounds rugged. Yeah, it's a man. Well, I'm saying like it bare sounds essentials, like, like FBI type stuff. Like when I there's think shady stuff going on in there. That's what it sounds like to me. Have you guys ever seen uh, Blast from the Past with Ben Fraser? No. Oh, long no, time so. ago. Well, uh, who's Christopher Walken is the dad or whatever, and he builds a bunker. <laughs> and it's in the 50s, and they think that the commies are bombing. Whatever. They go down in their bunker, and it's a nice bunker. And so Brendan Fraser grows up down there, and like 30 years later, he comes back up and discovers this whole world that's still going on. I don't know. It's a good movie, but that's that's what it's like to be raised in a bunker. I mean, it's yeah. literally. That's, that, that's yeah. Mm-hmm. Isn't the the girl from the office, uh, Aaron? What's it, whatever her real name? The receptionist in the later seasons of the office. She's in a TV series about that. She was in a bunker oh. for like Breaking Kimmy Schmidt. Twenty five. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, twenty five, thirty years, and then she came out of it. But like, anyways, I don't plan on being in my bunker that long. This is more like yeah. I what just are you go down use there, it for? I don't know. Interviews. I'm sure there'd be good acoustics. Interviews. I don't drink, but it'd be a cool place to keep wine okay I think Ooh, uh, make wine. wine yeah cellar. let's yeah. start a winery i think it'd be fun to see like have a contest see who can stay down there the longest no thank you oh, yeah. yeah no no thank you gabe willie <coughs> you too no i don't want to be in on that <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I'm out. i would do it but i would just feel like i wasted so much time to win <laughs> <laughs> to win it would have for me to be in there it would have to be something very substantial to yeah. win yeah. A million or, dollars, or maybe not so much or a like contest. Fifty acres in a house where oh, multiple yeah. people have to stay down there at the same time. Maybe it's just like big one person. One person at a time is what I'm thinking. And then whoever, yeah. But then all of a sudden, then whoever goes second or third knows how much time they. No, have. what if you just don't, don't tell make them? it any easier? I think just one person, <laughs> and then it's like, look, if you can stay in there this long, you get this. You got internet and TV, or what do you, what do you got? Because three oh, three yeah. people don't. No, I think that's part of it. No internet. Yeah, you got to take books. because you're in a bunker. Books. I mean, as long as you got, as long as you got one something book. to do. One book. One, one book. One book. One series of books. Okay, two books because one of them, one of them can be the Bible. Okay, <laughs> great. Like a hotel, like it just something. stays in there. <laughs> the Bible, yeah, and something. But like, 
it it would be one single light, and then okay, mm. could you, you can have workout equipment. Three movies. I'd get jacked. Down there. It's three a prison workout. You just yeah. use your body weight. Yeah. Three movies. What would they be? Oh, Lonesome Dove because it's that takes five hours long. Like it's <laughs> yeah, and it's a good movie. Right. Can it be a mini series? Well, no, like not Lonesome, a show. Lonesome Dove. Is Lonesome Dove counts, but that's the only one. Oh, I'm thinking like the longest say, Saving Private Ryan. I was going <laughs> like to say yeah. the yeah. longest movie because it's like ten hours as well. Yeah. No, I watched that the other day. Band of Brothers. Full finished it the other day. Yeah. Other movies. For Go. Like the Hurry. Time. Uh, Dazed and Confused, and um, I don't know what my third one would be. Mm. It's hard to say. Mm. That's a tough one. Uh, Mommy Lonesome Dove, um, Shawshank Redemption. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> and what else? That's a good third option. I really like Bright. That's just the one that came to mind. That is I a could, pretty good movie. I could probably be talked into something different if I remembered something Bright? else, but I just I just thought I would need a, I would need a comedy. I agree with the first two, but the third one would have to be something. A feel good. Yeah. Something yeah. like feel good about yourself. Or The Office. I don't, you say you can't do that. Yeah, yeah but I'm yeah. the boss and I make the rules and I get to do what I want. You can't, but I can't. What if it's only just The Office? There's no other movies. Like, you just supply The Bible pick, and The Office. If like. I had to pick between The Office and The and I Lonesome you, Dove. The I thought you were going to say The Bible. I'm not even going to joke like that. There's a lot of things I'll joke about, and you've heard some of them already on this podcast, but I'm not going to joke about that. Um, yeah, so then you got to be in the bunker. What do you win? I is, don't know. Is there a bathroom? Yeah. What's the oh, bathroom? yeah. Where do no. you have to go to the bathroom? Like, just, well, there's no just corners. But, I mean, but, but since it's my bunker, 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 <laughs> bucket, I combined a bucket and bunker. Since it's my bunker, what I would probably do is have, like, a hatch and, like, at the end of each day, you can, I will, we'll like, pull up a bucket and we'll empty it, you know. Empty it. Willie, and then I we'll say put we. your next day's food in it. And there you go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Take it back down. Yeah, yeah. Willie. <laughs> so are we giving food every day or like do oh, we yeah. have like have just ration. dry goods? You got to eat gabagool. Gabagool. You got to eat bunker food. Okay. I'm g- cool with bunker food. MREs. Yeah, but let's, let's say you can go to a military sur- surplus store and get boxes of MREs. They're disgusting. Oh, they ain't that bad. My, br- my dad uh-huh. was in the Air Force and I ate one probably after. I thought you were saying I went with him once. No. <laughs> <laughs> he had one. And I ate it. It was like probably 20, 30 years later. It's still all right. It's like space food. It had M&M's in it. Oh. I think that's I've what had you remember. Like lasagna. <laughs> that was bad. Yeah. Lasagna MRE sounds bad. Oh, it Eggs. Was There's eggs yeah, MRE. Egg yeah. mm-hmm. The omelet is That really makes bad. me, just thinking about it, makes me need to go to the bathroom. I'm trying to remember why I've had, oh, it was one of those hurricanes. Sandy mm. something, whatever. <coughs> so, bunker doing it. Text me your thoughts, nine four zero three five three zero eight nine zero. Maybe we, we should turn it into a Dale B and B. Dale B and B. Come stay in Dale's bunker. People, two hundred dollars a night, and you can stay. Come stay in Dale's bunker. It puts the lotion on the skin. How do, yeah. how do I get in this thing? Pop the trunk on that old Dale. Yeah, dilap- be sure and drop a pin <laughs> to like nine friends before you go in it. You know that way. It puts the Joe dirt in the hole. Just, that way you don't get locked in Dale's bunker and you're in this secret place. You know. He's gonna fillet you and wear your skin. It was out. just a joke. We'll let you out. Golly, you lock somebody in a bunker for 30 minutes, and all of a sudden, you got a lawsuit on your hands. <laughs> um, Kidnapping. We, we filmed today. Um, lost a pony. Sad deal. Mm. Badger. Three years old. Give it away. If they're this far into the podcast, I mean, we're like 14 minutes in. so People don't listen that long? <laughs> 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 I think they do, but I've <laughs> highly doubted it. <laughs> <laughs> Very seldom do we get called out on stuff we say 43 minutes yeah. in. If so if they're really really bored. If if it's the people that are listening right now, these are the some OG DB fans and we will give yeah. them the inside scoop. <clears throat> I'm telling them we got a bunker somewhere on the property. We live in Young County. There you go. Oh. And we have um lost a horse which has not been revealed yet and his name is Badger. And Dill's address is <laughs> I edited that out. Um, we do the warehouse is in Newcastle, Texas, so <clears throat> that's not where I live. I commute to the warehouse, so come to the warehouse. Actually, there's a kid here from uh, where's that kid from? 
What huh? kid? His name is Daytona. Oh, yeah. You oh, had him name is there. Daytona. Yeah, I You don't, saw him literally a few hours ago. I don't remember where he's from. I know he's on his way to Florida. Oh, it's that same kid? Yeah. yeah. I, he's uh, coming back. I uh, wasn't here this morning. I was at the doctor. I hid in the office. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Leroy doesn't like people. That's why he's no, willing like to people. live in the it bunker. Was, <laughs> yeah. Really. It's nothing personal, y'all. It's just that he's he's a hermit. No, I'm not. You didn't get COVID. I went everywhere you went. No, you didn't. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> we did oh, that no. thing, and they were like, "Has he been tested?" It's like, "There's no need to test him. He would have <laughs> to be around people." I got COVID. Yeah. I just didn't go get tested when I got it. Okay. It really wasn't that bad. You just you couldn't smell anything very well. Mm. Anyways, the point is, he doesn't come around people that often. Um. What else were we going to talk about on this podcast? Dating advice. That's right. So how is it going with, between y'all two? <laughs> better. No, non-speaking terms. Much I guess? no, much better. Much better. <laughs> you didn't already have him queued up. <laughs> Boom, rodeo Rex. Nothing like make me mad or just watching uh, barrel horses on rodeo Rex flip over. Why does that make you mad? Just. People always put up, for, you know, stick up for the horse too much. Oh, that horse has been just, no, it might be just an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it's not the horse's fault, but a lot of times there are some horses that are just idiots. Anyway. She ask runs me, fast. Ask something about dating. Podcast with Katrin and Donnie. And Leroy, turns out. What's up, Leroy? Passing gas, Bloody a.k.a. Man. farting. Thank you for... Clarifying. <laughs> Clarifying. If Why and you when say that in the first place is is it, that yeah, is it acceptable? How far along <coughs> into the relationship are we? Yeah, I guess maybe you make those stipulations. When can you? As soon as possible, I think. I've made this mistake before. <laughs> <laughs> no, <okay>. Expand, please. <laughs> uh, I think you better be well established. That's a good answer. Well established. But then again, like it happens, it happens. But. Well established. I mean, if it's an accident, that's one thing. <laughs> but don't be surprised. The today. accidents are the most embarrassing. Yeah. One time I was pulling a guy's bull rope and let one rip. <laughs> Golly. <laughs> I've never been more embarrassed. Of course, it's the one time in the practice pen. There's like two hot girls there sitting on the fence behind me. So I just had to she play it off. Like it was it on, on the purpose. bull. <laughs> this, it was... It was... Too, no, it was more... <laughs> Because <laughs> I was like in it's rhythm with me, <laughs> in rhythm well. with me pulling the bull rope. <laughs> Those are the most embarrassing by far. Now the tuxedo seems a little messed up. <laughs> Man, I think <laughs> if uh, <coughs> if you're gonna try to date somebody and you think farts are hilarious, like just get it out of the way. Yeah. If they don't <coughs> think it's funny, she's probably not gonna be right for you. Mm. That's my opinion. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Katie Kaufman didn't think they were funny. Well, Katie's not funny herself, so. Yeah, she's my ex Yeah, she's your ex, so. Yeah, yeah, who cares? She got knocked up, too, so. Tossed a bullet on that one. <laughs> no kidding. Yeah, poor Elliot. No kidding, Katie is very funny. She's funny looking. <laughs> All right. I, my answer to this person was, there are two types of people in the world, those who think farts are funny and those who do not. If she doesn't think farts are funny, she may not be the one for you. Sorry to say. However, she cannot fart. Ever. I know it's a double standard, but that's just the way of the West. I mean, if she's sleeping and it's an accident, like... Oh, yeah, you'll forgive it. her then? Yeah, it's not <laughs> like she's, like, made eye contact and lifted a cheek. Let one like, go. That's just... Yeah, uh, that's unacceptable. Uh, like, it's a double standard. I know, I'm sorry, but, like, I also don't think that the girls I date should have a beard. That's just me. So I don't. I wouldn't like them. I would like them not to fart. I would like them to shave their legs, and I would like them to not have a beard. How do you feel about armpit hair? I do not like it. <laughs> <laughs> not a I fan. Do myself. not like it. Okay. So got it. Donnie, what? <laughs> <laughs> you you don't mind armpit hair? Oh no, no, I I mind. <laughs> <laughs> Leg hair. Oh, no, that caused a lot mind. of problems between me and Caitlin. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> she had it. Sure. Gotcha. First date, are we keeping it casual or going all out fancy? And I said, are you talking about a date with Caitlin Coward? She's probably cool with either one. Read the room. 
D- I think this, I did, responded okay. on my story, and I'm pretty sure I said, <laughs> either one is fine. You just have to let the girl know which one. Mm. Like, I don't want to show up in these athletic mm. clothes to a steakhouse. Or like, a podcast where everyone's wearing Delaware. <clears throat> yeah. No, you didn't let me know. <laughs> <laughs> that, okay. <laughs> this is true. Okay. Communication, people. Yeah. Just communication is probably going to be important. the answer to a lot of these questions. Yeah. How do I get a girl to like me through dancing? <laughs> I like where your head's at. And uh, this was Mercer Payton that oh, sent okay. this. And I said, makes a lot of sense. <laughs> I said, this is like a clone of Wesley Janes. Right. Um, Except so shorter. I said, yeah. and long blonde hair. First, learn how, Mercer. <laughs> so learn how, and then I, th- I would go with interpretive dance. Yeah. That's, good. That's mm. how you win a girl's heart. <clears throat> how do you know when it's time to kiss her? And I said Ooh. she'll tell you with her eyes. Better to be late than early. Yeah. Just go for oh, it. Oh, better to be late than early for sure. Body language is everything. Mm-hmm. If she's into it, you'll know. And if if you like go on a couple dates and you haven't yet, and she's like, I, man, that's the one. Because like the first date, I I I think no matter how <laughs> conservative one is, even the most conservative of gal would would probably or or the most non conservative of gal mm. which you probably don't need to be <laughs> dating anyway. A flu- a <laughs> you would would be okay with not kissing on the first date. You know, like, oh we just had a really good time and he was a gentleman. I don't feel like that's a bad play. No. Not at all. Never. I don't know. I like my women a little more on the trashy side. We know you do, Donnie. <clears throat> because I've dated your mom and she's she's the one that raised you and so like I I get where you're coming <laughs> from. She's a nice lady. If going to Bama would Hannah entertain a date with a guy from Arkansas and I said back off. She's mine. Yay or nay for mullet boys. I personally wouldn't date a guy with a mullet. This is me answering. But I think having one would give you better odds with a girl. So depends on the mullet, I think. True. Yeah. What about your baby mullet? I get a lot of compliments, but what about Willie's permed mullet? That's a pretty solid one. It's not like I don't know. Some guys like like really the transition <laughs> is hard. <laughs> There's no fade, <laughs> and his is a good transition. I I'll, I'll, I think he could go a long ways with that. It depends on the mullet. There's a guy that does CrossFit and he's really good, and he has a mullet it off i think it's just all about attitude too. yeah how far mul- does it go down his neck does it touch his shirt it like touches his shoulders i think oh mullet mullet a mullet's not a, a little, place like, it's an attitude mm-hmm. oh, that's a bumper sticker mm-hmm. jot that down for a t-shirt he might, he might get a letter <laughs> sent to him for uh copyright infringement who's that you oh if you put it on a bumper sticker oh, i didn't plan on it okay good uh do you have sex i said only if you're married old son we joke around a lot, but hey, that's for Wait, married people. Do you only hey. have sex with married people? <laughs> <laughs> now who's the one making inappropriate jokes, Leroy? I'm just trying to clarify. He's getting clarification. Yeah, clarify what you were a saying. married couple okay. is who should be doing the dirty. Doing the coitus. The what? The what? <laughs> the deed. <laughs> I don't know what that word was. <laughs> We'll talk about that after the podcast. <laughs> what, what are you guys talking about? I'm talking about intercourse. Oh. And Making my tortillas. answer is you got to be married to do it. Donnie's and a virgin, so he doesn't know. Almost got fired as a substitute teacher because I told some kids oh. that once. Yeah. I literally got called to the office, the principal's office. You're not a counselor. I said, okay, so just to be clear, <laughs> these kids asked me what a true love weights ring was. I tell them that talk about abstinence i answer their questions and i'm in trouble for that it's like do you realize how i don't know i don't even know the word for it like that's what you that's that's what this principle is is, is, and you should have said what else like you gave the best answer yeah i don't know i don't i don't it pissed me off i stopped sub in there i said man your, your your school is doomed and it is your fault sir you're wasting your time with of all the things going it's on in the school you're talking to a sub who was telling his kids to practice abstinence anyways can you date her and her mom at the same time 
very carefully. I, I said slippery <laughs> slope, my friend. <laughs> slippery slope. Very careful. What type of girls are you interested in? I said the types with money and a pulse. <laughs> Donnie, answer. I like how your your answers have morals once, <laughs> one <second. laughs> and just none the next. My <laughs> hypocrisy knows no bounds. <laughs> <laughs> you get to decide when I'm serious and not. Yeah. I don't know. Attitude in a girl goes a long way. If they're cool, that that means a lot. Oh, thanks. That's why. You, oh, because y'all are dating. But uh, <laughs> if if I've just. If you want to take my advice, I don't know if I would because I'm single. <laughs> I work for a long-haired hippie on the mesquite trees. That's what me and Garrison had a long talk. Garrison's been on the podcast before. I was the best man at his wedding. <coughs> we had a long conversation, and he said, uh, it was like we talked for two and a half hours, and at the end of it, he was like, man, best piece of advice I can give you after saying all that is don't take my advice. <laughs> so it really threw me off on what I should and shouldn't listen to. Next question, how long till Katrin and Donnie get together? I said this will be the first question answered on the podcast. But it it was the first question asked, but you guys dodged it. You haven't answered it. What's the best way to get to a <laughs> cowboy's heart? <laughs> Ooh, tell me. I said laugh at his jokes and ask him to teach you something about cowboying. Then compliment him on how cowboy he is. Tell him he can go to any rodeo he wants. <coughs> Let him see that other guys are texting you, and then it's game over. He's yours. Wait, go f- further on that one. Let, so he can get jealous or, like, know what he has or what? <coughs> what I'm saying is, like, <coughs> what's the best way to get a, to a cowboy's heart? Okay, so she's obviously not in a relationship with the cowboy. Right. Or at least that's a safe assumption. Right. So you start by interacting with the young man get him to teach you something because people like to a cowboy likes to if that's something he's passionate about shared knowledge yeah and Mm -hmm. she's got the opportunity to follow up with you are so cowboy (laughs) and then um yeah like yeah if we were today you could go to any rodeo you wanted you know he's got freedom (laughs) and then one day he just sees he hasn't locked it up yet Okay. But then one day he sees, maybe change the numbers in your phone. Right. It might be your dad texting you or your mom or your friend, but you put in there like, let's say if he's <coughs> um, a uh, bronc rider, you put in there court shear, you know, and he's like, hey, uh, why is court shear texting this girl that I've been courting? Yeah. And he's going to lock it up. Right. See what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Can't let court her slip away. Is uh, a oh, attractive wow. male who has a mullet. A little bit of one. Yeah. And so I feel like that would throw a guy in, into, hey, I better lock it up. Mm-hmm. Or they're going to be like, nah, deuces, I'm not playing these games. Manipulation. But if they're, that's, if they're yep. not together, then they're not games. Yeah, I know, but if they're going down that path... They're well, that's different. Both interested. That's different. So if, if they're, they're interested, if they're like I in the talking phase, if they're in the talking phase, which is a dangerous phase anyway, then it that's is, different. That's it is different. A I'm not saying line. the girl should be a floozy. I'm oh, just yeah. saying like she's in high demand. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right, right, right. I understand where you're going. Like what you're going for. Like it's gonna it's gonna put a clock on it for him. Mm-hmm. That's the thing. Mm-hmm. If he feels like you're always an option, no matter what, then why would he get in a hurry? Let me see what else is oh. out there. You see what I'm saying? Sorry, it's not like I've had experience in that one. I was like, oh, yeah, let me tell you. <laughs> what do you think the way to a cowboy's heart? Um, I'm single, so apparently I've not figured that out. <laughs> Just Donnie? Me. I don't know any cowboys. <laughs> <laughs> Thoughts on dating someone with opposite political views. And I said it would be fun to pretend and keep it a secret while then... <laughs> A while, then when she falls in love, drop a knowledge bomb on her. It'd be hilarious. I don't know. It's hard enough to date someone who's friends. Like, like I dated someone. We kind of had this, we had the same beliefs, but her friends didn't. Like that was hard enough. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> yeah. I guess w- the the answer I gave is more of a prank. Yeah. Right. 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 And you would know that it would end in like an explosion. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Someone gave me mm. some advice once, and it was as long as you can agree on religious beliefs, politics, money, and how you want to raise your kids, the rest is kind of you'll meet in the middle. It's <laughs> like, all right. Well, there's not a lot left. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you can agree on those four things. Literally, the only other question is where are we going to eat tonight? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Everything else just kind of meet in the middle. Which that is likely to cause some. Yeah. I'm just more than likely the guy's going to be picking that. Nah, not if you say, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. Or For I don't care. My personal experience, girls like to be not the ones who decide where to eat. Samesies. Indirectly, they decide. Well, or you could hey, just let's go here. Like, mm, nah. Yeah. And you, I don't want to go there anyway. Yeah. What about here? Or you do the, guess where I'm taking you. Yeah, that's a good one. the first thing they say, yup. Yeah, that's a good one. See, she's a good most, most chicks like sushi. sushi. I love sushi. Oh man, it's so good. Is mm. Boone for sale or on sale? Boone is not, but the first gen is. Text me the words first gen, and then I will sell that some buck. That thing's still for sale. I, well, it's not like it's not. It's not on sale. On sale, it's for sale. Oh, okay. Got it. You got to come get it, as <coughs> is. We'll make a rodeo time. This time we'll put. We'll have audio on. Would you date Kate? If I did not, <laughs> if I didn't have a strict do not dip your pen in a company ink policy, then yes, absolutely, I would. She hot. I read that. I, I forgot funny. about that one. <laughs> the best first, first date spot. Mine was your mama's house. Yes or no, kiss on the first date. No, we already answered that. Mm-mm. When is the appropriate time to begin fluctuating around each other Fla- I think <laughs> fluctuating <laughs> I said I try not to ever fluctuate between women too complicated mm-hmm. one woman at a time yeah. the next slide I said if you meant flatulate I'd say third or fourth date read the room bro solid we already co- covered that one yeah. also send a Facebook relationship request after the first date creepy or hella hot I think it's hilarious <laughs> I mean, oh, if so you're like, trying to be funny, that's yeah, that's hilarious. But if you're dude, like <laughs> serious, like if you have that conversation this, on the first date, like oh no, that's so so weird. Then yeah, this makes me want if to you can make her laugh. Go on one date with a girl, and before she gets home, send a Facebook <laughs> relationship request. It's that com- would it's be complicated. Hilarious. It's complicated, yeah. God, and like, give her no like that. You would really get to see her sense of humor. Yeah, if she laughs, she might be the one. But yeah, because if you or you might get to see how crazy she is if she like takes it seriously and is like, heck yes, and you might want to get yeah. Then you found yourself. Now, yourself. You're, now yeah. you're the bond. If it was like <laughs> notification, ding. Accepted. Yeah, Shonda accepted. <gasps> Oh no! Check what have I done? <laughs> I just feel like checkmate. <laughs> what if I done? See your sense of humor, <laughs> and I'll raise you one. <laughs> then she's yeah. Then what? Then is it? Is she joking? Like is she being serious? Like she's yeah. Oh, that's, that's a, a, that's a, a move. move. I definitely. She's either know. really crazy or really funny. Yeah. Or if she like countered with we are engaged. <laughs> yeah. Um, <clears throat> tips for dating a cowboy who uses all his time to ride bulls at practice or events. And I said, date one that's already the best and doesn't have to practice. Hey, I'm Dale. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet me. <laughs> nice to meet me. I'm Date Mike. <laughs> Why do I keep getting ghosted? Ooh. Ooh. I said, go where you are appreciated, not just tolerated. Mm. Mm. What's that profile picture look like? I, I did DM her. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She was blonde. She was cute. Oh, uh, I like him blonde. Split the check the first date. I said, forget your wallet and see how she handles it. That's another funny thing. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know. That one's tricky. Uh, I mean, you either got to go all out or like (laughs) pay for it. Okay, so (laughs) I think if he were to ask me on the date, like then he should pay. If I asked him out or it was a mutual, hey, we should meet somewhere, get to know each other, whatever, then mm, split. I'd be okay with splitting. <coughs> I'm fine with paying for it. Uh, oh, are you? Yeah. I, yeah, I don't I don't think it should be split. He needs to pay for it. Like in all in all honesty. I would what I would do is set it up with the guy before. Like, look, here's some money. I'm gonna pay for it. I'm gonna act like I forgot my wallet. When she sends you her card, you come back and tell her it was declined. <laughs> 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 and then act like me and you are cool. 
and you'll like give me one a slide, you know, something like that. That'd be funny. We're we're getting this first date put together, so like we're building you guys a first date. All right. So not we'll only build a date. you're yeah, not really. you're not gonna kiss them. Yeah. You're gonna send them a, a relationship request that night, mm -hmm. and this is how you're gonna treat the check. Uh, opinions on dating in your teens. What'd you say? You said no. Well, it depends. Cause I'm th at first I'm thinking like 19. <clears throat> Who is calling me from Brian? Uh, I said same as any age. Respect, respect each other, and keep God as your number one pro number one priority, and you'll save yourself a lot of ha heartache. Because I think that if you can, if that's your priority, that it really doesn't matter. You can date at any age. But if God is not your priority, I think it can get really dangerous dating as a teen. And that's all I'm going to say. What do y'all think? I agree. <coughs> or just yeah. don't do it. Yes. Wait until you're ready to settle down or something. There's another girl that asks me. Um, she's probably responsible for like nine of these questions. And she's obviously barely a teenager. Maybe 14. Oh, gosh. And she's got braces. And she's talking about dating older guys. And so then my questions get to more like, you'll see them here in a second. Do not date. Do not date. Don't date. Now. Don't do it. I was an ugly teenager. <laughs> no one wanted to date me. <laughs> Still ugly. But. I had a <laughs> boyfriend in like eighth grade, ninth grade. But it, I mean, like we just hung out at either of our parents' houses and like he roped and I would just sit there and watch him rope and then I go home, you know. But I didn't like date date till I was 18. Yeah. My dad was like, yeah, no. It's just, I don't know. Some people do. I mean, like. My college roommate, Kurt Bills, and his wife, Shelly, they were high school sweethearts, and they're married, and they have three or four kids now. And so it can happen. Mm -hmm. It can ha Who else was I? Oh, uh, uh, Lisa's son, Stephen. Oh, and yeah. Abby. Mm -hmm. And they're married. They've been, they've been together since high school. I mean, it can happen. For but sure. Like, I don't know. Uh, when will the podcast be out? Well, you're listening to it now, so right now. At the, yeah, time, <laughs> at the time, we um, had an unexpected trip to Alabama to go noodle, so we actually did this Q&A like a week ago. Uh, <clears throat> how do you tell someone that you like them, but you're not sure if they like you? You get a plane to ride it in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> to ride it in the sky or pull a sign behind it? Both. Both. Yeah. <laughs> you got to go Two planes. Yeah. Yeah. That's two, a lot of maneuvering with a big, long sign. By <laughs> oh, two different planes. Okay. Yeah. yeah, two planes. Just I said like chains, one of their pictures from three years ago at 2 a.m. and see if they like one of yours back. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's a bold move, Pretty Cotton. spot on, though. <laughs> on the first date, on the first night, after yes. you sent the um, <laughs> relationship request. Yep. Girlfriend is psycho clingy, has threatened to shoot my horses for riding too much. Oh. And I said, yeah, but is she hot? She sounds lovely. <laughs> <laughs> but is she hot? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, if... She, I'm not saying that if she is hot, you should stay with her. Is it like that's the not what I'm saying? The crazy hot skill. Yes, the crazy hot matrix. Got it. But if she's psycho, clingy, threaten to shoot your horses, and she's not hot, that's an obvious get out of there. Yeah. Bruh, what are Bruh. you doing? Bruh. But if she's all those things, and she is hot, well, it's like okay, how hot? She's got to be pretty hot to beat those things. Yeah. I don't know. Like she's got to be smoking. <laughs> how much do you like your horses? I don't deal yeah. with crazy. Very well. Okay. That's why we're not together anymore. When do you know when to act like you're? And my answer was I'm super interested in what the rest of this question was going to be. <laughs> Have you ever roped one of your dates? And I said, that's not as charming as it sounds. Rope burn is a real thing. And if she carries a knife, then it would cost you more money to than win you brownie points. Be smart, bro. Yeah, Roping someone is just not. It kind of hurts. Mm -hmm. If you're a good loop, then it, it kind of hurts them. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Um, how do you get out of the friend zone? I said walk. It's good. Yeah. On to the next one. Let her know how you feel and then just it <coughs> go from there. Maybe she yeah. feels the same way. Because maybe she feels the same way and she like y'all both want to take it there. But I doubt yeah. it. And if she doesn't. But then you know and friends. he can. Sometimes you like. I, was, I had I put a girl in the friend zone because we were neighbors at the time. <coughs> she was like, you got to pick. I was like, okay, well, I'm going to go this way and left. <laughs> then we never talked again. 
<laughs> that's, not the friend zone. Huh? that's not the friend zone. That's not the friend zone. zone. That's the I'll never see you again zone. No, we were in the friend zone. I had put her in the friend zone. Oh. We had been, we were friends. And she said, you got to pick. Either we're dating or we're not. Okay. So I said, we're, we're not. not. And I left. <laughs> okay. Mm. That's what I'm saying. <coughs> I remember that. What? She I remember that. She dodged yeah. a bullet on that one. Is this I did her a favor. Yeah. Of? Yes. Okay. <coughs> um, can you go on a date without it meaning you're dating? Yeah, it could just mean that you're Want to get dinner just to trying friend? to get a free meal. Yeah. Yeah, Kaylin used to do that to me all the time. All the time. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go out somewhere nice, Donnie. Wait, yeah. uh, we call it r- roomy dates. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I'm just saying that's a risk you got to take. That's all I'm saying mm-hmm. about yeah. the friend zone. I didn't really clarify. I'm just saying, like, you just ask them. If it works out, it works out. If it doesn't, it doesn't. You're That's both the worst be, they can say. You'll no. both be fine. Exactly. Yeah, no, and, That's and the you know. Point. You're both fine. Yeah. And then you stop wasting you time. You might be in agonizing pain for a couple of weeks. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, you better. I was not, and she was not. Where do you get spurs for your boots? Size 11, double E. Gold. Oh, it's a wide foot, old son. <laughs> Custom, Custom order them from Carrie Kelly Bits and Spurs. DM them on Insta and they'll fix you up. What do you recommend? What what age do you recommend being allowed to at? I think 18. To date. I said 17 if somebody's really mature. I think if you can drive 16. <coughs> the girl should be 17. Yes, that's a double standard. But I, what, I get, what I'm saying is like if the guy's 17 and the girl's younger, guys, guys mm. are just... Sometimes manipulative a holes, and I don't think that I would just. Yeah, I think seventeen and eighteen is good. I know that seems high, but I mean, I think being thirty, I realized why my dad didn't let me date until I was like seventeen, eighteen. I'm like, oh yeah, no, I I get it. You're thirty, huh? You're thirty. Yeah. See I thought you I'm liked older women. <laughs> See what I was saying about <laughs> Not that much older. assholes. <laughs> We've got Donnie over here. You're 30? Why do married people always want to date single people? And I just oh. put a wide-eyed emoji. I didn't know how to answer this one. What is it? <laughs> Why do married people always want to date single people? What? I, I this don't person's got a lot of problems. Yeah, I don't even have an answer. That, n- we're not. No. We're not. We need Corey. Our concerts. <laughs> yeah. Our oh. concerts best for a first date or second date, or are they third date level? I saw your That's response on this one, but I disagreed with it. I said like the fifth or sixth, maybe in my opinion, be hard to visit and get to know them. A lot of looking over and and awkward nodding. I think that's like later on in the relationship of. <laughs> you like them? Oh, what so, you say? So good. Love them. Or if they, d- what if they don't like them? <clears throat> and then it's just a game of it. So what do you think? I. What if we like met up, grabbed dinner before or something, or drinks, and then went to the concert? That would be a good date. I would be down for that. Yeah. I think that's something that's like later on in the relationship also, after you can read their body language and you know their different looks of happiness and yeah, disappointment. Just satisfaction. Yeah, <laughs> just kind of like, yes, let's get out of here. Well, <coughs> what do you think, Donnie? I'm not a big concert goer to her, so this is not a good question for me. Maybe that's where I'm at. I'm thinking Hurricane <coughs> Harry's. It's packed. You're like walking around in there super loud and... And you just can't really, you, you can't really visit. Yeah, you if can't. It's if you're really like someone, and I don't know, you're, I don't know, you're trying to talk to them, and it's not really the environment. If you want a little bit more one-on-one time, then maybe just a little one-on-one at the beginning when you eat, and then like meet up with some friends somewhere, yeah. and then watch how she interacts with people, yeah. and that you would know, be you good. don't have to yell. And there's not some drunk guy hitting on her. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just a then concert like, to do me. I, do I? <laughs> An acoustic show. Do I intervene? In like, acoustic yeah. would be good. That's yeah. What, that was my, ne- you know, uh, Shane Smith, acoustic at the Railhead Smokehouse in Weatherford. Yep. Yes. Like, 100%. you can still hear each other. Sit you can also back. eat. Mm-hmm. You could leave when you want. You could, Which you could leave anything when you wanted. But anyways. Yeah, like, I'm definitely not going to go to, like, some big festival. You don't need a wristband. Yeah, You're not, I'm not like, going to. walk in two miles. I mean, I'll still go, but yeah. <laughs> Why does <laughs> someone me. lie not to hurt you, but in the end, doing that 
hurts worse. And I said, mm, heavy. I may not be the type of professional <laughs> you need helping you. I don't think I understood the question. They're lying to you t- as to not hurt you, but when oh. you find out, it hurts worse because it's like, well, dang, you still lied to me. It's kind of a legitimate question. Yeah. But <clears throat> ultimately, I think they're just being kind of... Here's the thing. Bad news doesn't get better with time, but it still sucks. So, like... <laughs> You know, there's just... That's why I give Dale a report daily. <laughs> <laughs> I think the, the truth the truth always wins. I was about to say, there's no good lie. Okay, I got I got some heavy information. Um, but I'm interested, y'all. This is kind of a heavy story. A uh, friend of a friend passed away. Um, <clears throat> he had a family that somebody... Later, after somebody came to the person, the the wife, it was like, hey, I had an affair with your husband. That, to me... Keep that to yourself. Yeah. Keep that to yourself. Yeah. The guy's gone. You're yeah. just telling that. To make, you're yourself, just, feel to make yourself feel better. That's that's where it's like, mm-hmm. keep that yeah. to yourself. Nope. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I thought Go there. to confessional leave that. If the guy's still alive, all day. Yeah. That's the truth. Sure. And the truth needs to come out. And, like, let's get it on the table so everybody can heal and move on and do what needs to be done, which yep. is up to y'all. Like, whatever mm-hmm. you decide needs to be done is fine. But, like, yeah. I don't know. Why does someone lie not to hurt you, but in the end, I think there, that hurts I, when worse. you try to save someone's feelings, you know, I can understand that. But there's really no good lie. Like, just tell the truth. Right. Like, that's why I'm always honest about Br- everything. Brutally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, you just, you can't help it. You're redheaded. They're, redheads are notorious for that. Is that what they're notorious for? Notorious. Oh, no, things. sunburns. That's what it was. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, have you ever had the fake, oh, no, I got to go phone call lined up and did, not, and did you use it? Oh. I said no and no, <clears throat> but I'm not afraid to use it. I usually just power through them <coughs> if yeah. I'm not digging it. Or I'll just do the Irish <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> yeah. I'm, uh, to yep. me, that's... Se- Sorry, go ahead. No, you're good. Go ahead. I was just going to say, to me, it seems like that would be a first date that you're going on where you don't know the person at all. And I've not been on a lot of those dates. No, I usually have a, a way to get to know them before then. Yeah. What do you think? It's kind of one of those, like, Maybe not during the entree, but as we're ordering dessert, like, hey, you want something extra? Because it's probably gonna be the only time we're gonna we're gonna go out. So oh, you spill it. Up. You just yeah. spill it. Yeah, like I can obviously tell you're not digging this. I'm not digging this, but I'll get you another drink. You want an Uber? Or do you want me to take you? <laughs> do you have you ever done that? Or uh, you think you would? A couple times. Oh, you are. You have done that. Yeah. <laughs> But, I mean, I'll still take you to the movie. I know that you wanted to see it, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. I'll pay for it, but mm-hmm. this will be the only date. Why do boys have to be so confusing? And I said, ah, uh, we're pretty simple. Just stop believing everything we say. Dude, when you said that, I was like, oh, wow, okay. <laughs> I kind of defending myself. I That's why like, Karen's right. always mad at me. She believes everything I say. I thought, you could, I thought all you could do is tell the truth. I'm still <laughs> mad at everything he says and confused by it. No, I'm just kidding. No, but that was good. My Don't believe everything they no say. Well, I mean, that's really, we're pretty simple. Sarcasm's usually... Yeah, I'm I mean, sarcastic. <clears throat> I don't think that counts as lying. Very simple. No. I don't know. I'm just, <clears throat> I'm trying to think of a scenario to describe like what I'm what I'm trying to say but I just I really think that stop believing everything we say meaning like stop reading into everything and no matter what at the beginning of the what what I assume she might be talking about a s- couple of different scenarios is like in the beginning a, a guy is going to be really you know maybe twitter pated he's going to be trying to say all the right things and do all the right things but then there's a certain point when he starts stops trying as hard and now all of a sudden she's confused. Like, wait, this looks like two different people. No, no, no. The second one is the real one. Right. Donnie, it's getting really annoying in the corner of my eye. Your head is bobbing really hard. <laughs> Just agree- talk. I'm Just agreeing talk. with you. Tell me aggressively what agreeing. <laughs> I'm agreeing with you. What do you think? Twitter painted is definitely a thing. And 
in a wear off of it. I mean, you can't live like that forever. <laughs> <laughs> You've tried. No, I haven't personally tried to live like that, but um what how quick does it wear off for you? <laughs> I feel like it would wear off pretty quick. Depends on the girl, I guess. Okay, good answer. Or maybe you just haven't met the girl that makes you Twitter pated for your life for the rest uh, of your life. I'm <coughs> not saying that. I think it wears off for the. I think the girls act like that way too. I yeah. think it's human nature. Yeah. Right. I don't think it's a guy. I would. I like. Right. I appreciate them acting like. Like sometimes they gotta put you in line. <laughs> yeah. Remind you who you are. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I agree. Yeah. I feel like you would be out of all of us at this table. You're the one's gonna stop trying that extra mile the quickest. Oh yeah, that's like second date. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed the first one. This one's me. <laughs> Thank you Got for your you free here. trial. <laughs> so, I don't want to waste your time. I don't want to waste my time. Sure. <laughs> this is me. <laughs> <laughs> What's a good date idea? Here's my hairless dog. <laughs> <laughs> Pickle. Don't pick him up. He'll, he'll cover you in dirt. He hasn't had a bath in months. Uh, what's a good date idea? I said take her to Cavender's, get her some Daleware, then go to Saltgrass for a ribeye, then maybe a rodeo. Paintball. Ooh, I like it. I what was know. the question? I'm sorry. What's a good date a good, idea? A go- <clears throat> oh, a good date. I thought first date. A good date. Um, yeah, I think Cavender's is a good idea. Like, I'm going to buy you something at Cavender's. Yeah. You get to pick one thing. Like, maybe it's like a game. Like, look. Oh, yeah. Mm, Seven hundred dollar ostrich quill boots. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, well, no, no, no. You you go you go to Cavender's <laughs> first. Go to Cavender's first. Like, all right. We're each going to buy one thing. And then if you each buy one thing, then it's it's more of a a fun game. No, I mean, whatever. Go to Goodwill. Goodwill. Pick out something the other person has to wear. Make, like, y'all go to dinner wearing the same thing or wearing the thing y'all bought for each other. That would be interesting. That's that's a good idea. But there's not Delaware at Goodwill. Well, there might be, but somebody didn't know what they had when they dropped (laughs) it off there. (laughs) There's Delaware at Cavender's. Sorry. Cavender's for for the win. Anyway, <laughs> why can't girls probably. decide where to eat? Thanks, bro. She wants you to be the leader, so she has someone to blame it on if the food sucks. Is what I said. You I answer. always know what I want to eat, so this is never a problem but for do me. You, do you answer? Do you tell them? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm one don't. of those people that's like, man, I really want some Chick Fil A right now. When we go to our next uh, company dinner, you get to decide. Perfect. Also, everyone out there, I'm looking for a church fan. If anyone knows oh, of a yeah. church van for sale, I'm highly interested in an affordable church van that can travel up to 30 Pref- miles a day. Preferably a I thought a you were going to say travel up to 30 miles per hour, and I was like... <laughs> more than 30 miles an hour. <laughs> Nine like, or dang. more people. And, um, yeah, I want the letters to be on the side of it. We're not going to take them off. Hallelujah, church in Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Are all Cowboys players, is there good, is there good ones out there? No. <clears throat> Sorry. I said, what you're really asking is why aren't these players I'm dating changing like I want them to? I said, stop dating the bad guys, hoping they'll come around. Mm. Mm. Ooh. Well, Solid. Is she meeting him at the beer tent or the yeah, bar afterwards? Right. Or is she going to the practice pen? It doesn't matter what industry you're in, whether you're talking about cowboys, professional baseball players, whatever. I don't. I can, why are those the only two professions I can think of right now? Um, Baseball players and rodeo cowboys. <laughs> Accountant. <laughs> CPAs. Accountants. <laughs> we both went to accounting. Um, lawyers, whatever. Lawyers. Like, there's going to be pieces of trash in each whatever. Any industry. Yeah. <clears throat> if you find out he's a player or you even just get the red flag, of he's just then walk away. Just, it's fine. That's just such it, a lazy okay. thing to blame it on. Oh, well, all cowboys must be like that. So now I just got to go find somebody that's not a cowboy. And then you date a CPA that's a player. And then the all CPAs. Pretty I soon. Like, I feel like you just told my life story. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Um, I like Ford and this girl, li- um, this girl I like is a Doge person and don't <laughs> mind Doge. Doge. <laughs> and don't mind Doge, but she hates Ford. I said, I don't know much about cryptocurrency, but I've heard that Doge is up like crazy high. <laughs> she might be onto something, man. <laughs> I don't know. I don't understand what that has to do with Ford. Does Donnie have trouble dating since he's a ginger and has no soul? 
I'd like to see the guy or girl that uh, sent that. <laughs> Can't date because my crush moved. Oh. I said celibacy ain't all that bad, I hear. That was just someone that wanted to share their pain, I guess. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> how do you catch fe- how do you not catch feelings so quickly? <clears throat> Build a wall. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> I said use facts and not emotions. Yeah. Yeah. And then don't linger too long after you decided not to date. And I said also, did you just stutter? <laughs> because they put how you you <laughs> not catch feeling so quickly. <laughs> and then I said also not getting into the good stuff helps. What's that mean? You'll figure it out later. Oh. You're too young. Why are you still single? I said, bro, I am not dating you. <laughs> <laughs> What's your advice for a cowboy from California looking for a true cowgirl in Texas area? I said, move to Texas and don't let her know you're from California. <laughs> <laughs> How do you trust one another? I said, don't be a piece of sh- shizzle. It's pretty. That's pretty. It's pretty simple. Just yeah. Don't be a piece of trash. Yeah. Should I get back with my ex? He just no. started texting me late. No. Late, uh, lats night. Why no. did you break up? And I don't know. No. What to do? I still like him. Nope. I said he just started texting you less than twenty four hours ago. Dang girl, don't be that easy. What's the big hurry? Yeah. And just also just. Agreed. No. He's an ex for an ex. Katrin's type. I said go find out, and I put her at. What's your type? Uh, Shorter. He has to love Jesus. Money and a pulse, like my. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> he has to love Jesus. He has to be funny, and like to do fun things. How do I show my girlfriend that I love her, but I don't want to be too clingy? I said, say it in a really deep and manly voice. Also, wear shades. Show no emotion. What do you think, Leroy? I mean, it just depends on the woman. Like one hundred percent, just. I don't know. Why does that make you clingy? Well, Maybe it's, it's early. First day. <laughs> 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 Maybe it's early. Can I send the Facebook request? <laughs> but it's got to be early. If he thinks it's going to sound too clingy, it's yeah. just early. It's a year into the relationship. If you think it's going to be clingy, it's going to probably be clingy. Right. Write her a song. I don't know. Maybe. Guys are different than girls. Write her a song. Tell her in a song. Yeah. It might be like they've been dating for like two years. Oh, man. I just... Oh, moving a little fast here. <laughs> and she might be like just <laughs> thinking like. Waiting. Please tell me. What do guys look for in a relationship? And I said a girl usually. <laughs> I what, mean. What do y'all look for in a relationship? Physical. Physical. Fish, fish, oh. Attraction. Yeah. Physical attraction. <laughs> That's the first thing. Like if you're, You can't force it if you're not attracted. Call me shallow, but. Yeah. Hot. Got to be physically attracted to her. That's like the first thing that, oh, hey, I'm going to go talk to her for some reason. (laughs) Why do I need, why am I walking? Oh, (laughs) why did I just hug you? (laughs) That's kind of how it works with me. How do you get past not letting someone close so you don't get hurt? You don't. Why we got to pay for his mistakes? It's my turn to break your heart. That's what I said. (laughs) <laughs> Mine will be more fun and a better story anyway. How do you get past not letting someone close so you don't get hurt? Oh, like putting the walls down, yeah, getting you, comfortable. You tear okay. the wall down. And you just, what I'm saying yeah. is like brick apparently by brick. someone else made a mistake. Why do I have to pay for that? It's my turn to break your heart. Mm-hmm. Here it comes. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm zinging through them because that kid is probably here yeah, now. Yeah, 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 yeah. How do you date in a swiping culture that lacks commitment Ooh. when things get tough? Ooh, this one's heavy. I don't think so. Okay, what did you say? All cultures are the same. Swiping hasn't changed anything. It exposes people. Stop making excuses. That's a good answer. That's good. That's it. People are people. That's good. You can see <coughs> like the assholes easier, mm-hmm. but you can also, I mean, like people are still people. <coughs> social, me- social media is like money. It just exposes people. Somebody gets a lot of money and they're an asshole. Now they're more of an asshole. 
somebody gets a lot of followers all of a sudden and they're an asshole now they're more of an asshole if you're in a swipe a swiping culture like if you're the one swiping most of those people are assholes yeah not all of them there are definitely exceptions but you can't i mean you can't get on tinder and be like man i wonder why that didn't work out for the long term (laughs) you know like maybe it could it can i've only known one person who got on tinder and it worked and that's pedro and uh ross oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i officiated his wedding but um so too i'm just saying it i'm not saying it's not possible but when if you do that and the relationship goes south you can't be surprised because that is the culture of the swipe atmosphere what do you think no i mean if you're on the if you're on one of those apps like you're you're not looking for a relationship anyway yeah my opinion Pliny was a um, philosopher back in like Aristotle's days, and he said like this is the worst generation yet. <laughs> you know, every every generation they say that this is the worst one yet, and there's there's a holes and bad. So it's just been going downhill since then. <laughs> and and maybe each generation is right, but that doesn't change the fact that like it's it's just an excuse. Like I don't know they're necessarily right i think we probably put older generations on a pedestal because you know we kind of as a younger generation you get to see those guys when they have it figured out kind of sort of you know like you didn't have to see them i think there's definitely things that are worse yeah like there's definitely like aspects of it that are a little worse what i'm saying is and I think you're saying the same thing is that in spite of whatever the reality of the world is, that does, that doesn't change the attitude you need to have. Yeah. You know, it's the same solution, whether it is or it isn't like you still got to have a good attitude and you can't just use it as a, as an excuse. And then just like, well, I'm unhappy because of this. And that's the end of it. Period. Right. You know, there's a, there's a good dude out there somewhere for you. There's a good girl out there somewhere. What, no matter what's happening on social media. Agreed. That one got a little serious. Yep. I was agreeing with you. Yeah. Relationship advice for dating a woman with a two-year-old baby girl. I'm not going to call him dad, not even if there's a fire. (laughs) (laughs) I said, but seriously, I love babies. Two-year-olds are hilarious to talk to, by the way, right on my level. And with that mullet and brush popper you're wearing, the kid is bound to love you. I've never been in that situation, so I really don't don't have advice. I don't know. What is your opinion on having a long distance relationship? I said, bro, stop asking. I'm not dating you. Why did she cheat on me? And I'm only in the ninth grade. (laughs) I said, because she's a child and doesn't even know how many sides a trapezoid has yet. Get over it and start dating when you're 22. Go have fun and stop worrying about it. And then I clarified that a trapezoid only has four sides. But great. We all knew that because we're not in ninth grade. She's a literal child. (coughs) This slide doesn't have a question on it. It says, are you all surprised as I am that I've not had any more answers involving your mom? (laughs) (laughs) Your thoughts on breaks in a relationship. I said, take them. Maybe she ain't the one. Or maybe she is. And you find out on the break. And that's how you find out. I agree. We are zipping through these. <laughs> <laughs> you still having problems with uh, the crazy ex, or is is the restraining order working? She just got knocked up, Katie Kaufman. So my hat's off to Elliot Blair, who's hanging in there, being a good dad. Um, and so this has distracted her from bothering me. Yes. But she does still stalk me. It's weird. <clears throat> how do I get her to like me when I'm in the f- friend zone? And I said to date her friends. Don't do that. No. <laughs> Not, <laughs> if yeah. you Not if you want her. Just for like a little bit. No. 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 So I don't then know. you're out. You yeah, just, you're done for. You took your hat out of the... Yeah, you're disappear done for. Disappear for a while. Make her miss you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's yes. yeah, I used to say that all the time. 100%. Like, my friends would be like, yeah, I've seen you in a while. Sometimes you just got to get gone for a little bit to make people appreciate you. Mm. Yeah. I mean, don't like ghost her, ghost her. Maybe, maybe yeah. if she texts you, just wait a few hours before you make, respond. Make them yeah. miss Sorry. you a little bit. I'm, I'm or like go off and do some friends. rugged stuff, you know, yeah. and like don't like document the whole thing, but maybe like take a little picture of you doing some 
rugged stuff. Yeah. What's wrong with one of her friends being there? And then she's jealous. And then she's like, I got to have Because it's, it's her friend. friend. No. No. It's her friend. It's not going to happen. It's, it's her word. friend. It's her friend. <laughs> How do I build confidence when talking to girls? And I said, talk to more girls. Ride bulls. Or that. <laughs> How do I keep a cattle girl interested in me? By cows. <laughs> and I said, Dang, we're a, good. <laughs> is a cattle girl the same as a cow girl? I'd say feed the girl a ribeye every night, I guess. Yeah. Depends on what size you want. <laughs> <laughs> I got to get this girl ready to go to the feedlot. <laughs> what do you think about uh, dating Brazilian girls? Me, for example. I said, I'm in favor of it. They're usually hot. They and usually then I have said, a big butt. I mean, bueno, you <laughs> bonita senorita. <laughs> <laughs> and then we DM'd for most of the night. What do, what do I do if I like someone a lot, but I'm moving? I said, find a different someone or don't move. <laughs> but you look 12, so your 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 mom and dad probably won't let you move. So I'd say just worry about it in five years. Easy breezy. Hi, ah, young, ah, young love. Would you date a single mom that's not even five foot tall and can cook aws- awesome Mexican food. I said yes and yes. Also, you have tattoos, so I'm already in love. Tell me more. <laughs> she and I also dated till wee hours of the morning. I'm just kidding. Or <laughs> am I? <laughs> I am kidding. Seriously. You say dated until... Dated or DM'd? Is there a difference? <laughs> <laughs> Swipe culture, man. <laughs> Swipe culture, man. There's <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of assholes out there. <laughs> what do you do if you can't drive yet, but you and a girl want to see each other, but can't? Oh, my gosh. Bicycles. Get on a horse. Snapchat. I said, <laughs> 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 I said, FaceTime. I don't know, bro. Steal a car. Ride a horse, maybe. Steal a car. Golly. If you're freaking 14, like. That shouldn't be. Should I get him an old sun shirt? I said, yes. The one, it, this one is brand new. Swipe up. Leroy's wearing it. It's my new favorite shirt. Not the one he's wearing, but a version of that. What's wrong with this one? The same girl that's asked a lot of these questions that. Um, oh, the 12 year old? Yep. Okay. Is 14 too young to date? I yes. said yes. yes. <coughs> About to ask a girl out. How should I do it? Do it? I said, Delaware. Shoot your shot. Thoughts on girls being overprotective? I said, she's cheating on you, dog. Oh. <laughs> She'd step out to take your phone calls. <laughs> <laughs> Does she keep her phone locked when she's around you? She's overprotective of him. Pizza Hut called yeah. seven times today. Uh-huh. Who's your ex, old son? I said, son, I don't want to talk about this on Instagram, but we can talk on every other weekend. <laughs> 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 I didn't get it at first. <laughs> <laughs> I figured it would take people a second. <laughs> I was okay. wearing Delaware, and then because then I said, "There he is," meaning <laughs> going back to that text a while ago. I hadn't been making those jokes. <laughs> uh, does wearing Delaware improve my chances of getting the girl? I said, "Absolutely." Also, rock and roll denim jeans and an American hat. <clears throat> well, if they're wearing rodeo time, more than likely their sense of humor is going to be about the same. So, yeah. yeah, works for sure. What do you think the age gap? to dating is like how many years apart and I said if you're both under 24 then the gap can be 3 years if you're both over 24 then the gap can be as large as 25 (laughs) (laughs) come on (laughs) come on come on on. somebody told me cut the age in half and add 7 so like I guess if you're 30 Wait, 15 plus 7 would be 22, so... Oh, that's a little young. That's, mm. I mean, that's a gap, but I mean, I, I'd, be, I'd be cool with you dating a 22-year-old. I'm yeah. not, I would not be. She'd hit oh, up okay. Willie. Yeah, I've already done it before I tried that. <laughs> <laughs> no, someone in the comments of a YouTube were like, look at her, she's hitting on Willie. And I was like, in no form or fashion, but okay. That's Thoughts right. on... Sorry, what, Donnie? Nothing. I felt like it was going to be really funny, though. <laughs> it was not. <laughs> Just keep my mouth shut. <laughs> Thoughts on girls proposing to guys dated for over three years? Oh, mm. I would hate to be proposed to. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. I don't think so. 
you've been dating that long, as, as long as it's not like she takes you to the side of the lake and there's all this stuff set up and she proposes. If it's like we're cooking dinner and she's like, yo, you want to go to the JP and get married? Mm, yeah. You know what I mean? I would. I said break up with him before you try that. Why? I think the guy needs to propose. Well, I mean, it, just, it depends on the relationship, I guess. She's in love with me, but I'm in love with ranching. What do I do? I said marry ranching, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Can't cuddle ranch. <laughs> How much for the first gen? Again, text first gen to nine four zero three five three zero eight nine zero if you really want to know. Why does my girlfriend like dogs more than she likes me? They're I said, more loyal. I said maybe you're an asshole. <laughs> How do I know if a woman? How do I know if a woman just isn't a chubby chaser? <laughs> I said, oh, she likes you for your body. Darn the luck. <laughs> I want to know how to know if a girl likes you. I said, well, just ask her. Do you like Dale Brisby? And then if she's hot, <laughs> let me know the answer. <laughs> Thanks, dog. Hope that helps. Thanks, dog. <laughs> What's your biggest turn on and turn off? And I said, your mom was pretty big. <laughs> God, you're wrong, man. <laughs> <laughs> what, would y'all kiss on your favorite steer? I said, are you drunk, dog? <laughs> Not about dating, but where in Alabama are you going to be? I said, dude, Hannah is mine. Back off. <laughs> is a fanny pack a deal breaker? I said, dude, fanny packs are handy. I like to use them, doctor, in your lens. Do you break out some sweet dance moves or be a goofball? I said, both. That is all That's in the, the same, same thing. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Why is it so hard to find good love? I said there is no normal life. Why? There's just life. I don't know why that quote came to me with that answer, but <coughs> it was deep. It was good. I think people mm, at some point are mm-hmm. looking for like an epiphany. You know, like this yes. big awa- like awakening a thousand moment. Percent. Sure. Yeah. That and the, mu- the movie industry has made it seem this is how it's supposed to be. You know what I mean? Life in San Francisco is still just life. That's what I was getting at. Yeah. There, yeah. there, there is no such no thing as a life. Prince Charming. There's just life. Yep. Gotta enjoy the little things. Like a glass of buttermilk. <laughs> <laughs> Sip of whiskey on you know, a good meeting. <laughs> so I, I answered the same question in the next slide. Mm-hmm. Why is it so hard to find a love? And I said, you have to learn to appreciate the little th- everyday things. Sip a good whiskey in the evening. A warm bed. A cup of buttermilk. <laughs> Or a feisty gentleman <laughs> like myself. <laughs> so, and that was the end of it. But I think you have to... Uh, I, I talked to three... I, t- I was talking to a preacher once. He said, um, work with her. Play like board games or some sort of game. And just like do life with her. Um, another guy said uh pretty much ask yourself not like can you live with her but can you live without her and then another guy i heard once said uh how does she treat said, animals he said uh he he's That's like was, he's like there's 10 things and he said the first thing is you look at her mom how does her mom treat people how does her mom treat her husband how does her mom treat her kids, how does her mom treat dogs? All of it. What does her mom, does her mom have? Oh my gosh, my like, mom's is more than a sink than I am. So, and he said, then the next thing is, and then the phone cut out. I <laughs> 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 got one of the 10 things. <laughs> it was Bryce. It was Bryce. But it was so, he was so, he was like, there's 10 things, and here's number one. <laughs> and then the phone cut out. <laughs> so, that's what I say. That's how you find You never asked him again after that? No. Man, I I just thought it was this better is kind of off not. topic, but like this teacher I had in high school, he had this joke that, but he wouldn't tell us until we turned twenty one. And I haven't ran into him since <laughs> I turned twenty one. You better, you better call him. Yeah, what if something happens? I know that's what I'm worried about because he's not a young man. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. Uh, I'm gonna have to take a trip home next week. Ah, uh, young love. Are y'all so y'all are dating? Not dating? Yeah, we. The answer to that is. And we'll see you next time. <laughs> <laughs> Are you dating right now? 
You don't have to answer if you ever have, but are you dating <laughs> right now? No. no. Why did you you put a <laughs> question mark at the end of that, Katrin? I said no. We're not dating right now. Thank you for joining us this episode <laughs> of Rodeo Time. Um, Brought to you by... Oh, sorry. I was thinking of my life advice. Um, oh. 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 Um, I forgot about that. <laughs> Willie has been really messing up lately. And uh, <laughs> he recently said... This is my life advice, and it pertains to dating, so this is what I'm bringing. He said... Uh, yeah, I've just not been thinking things through. I'm not to that point in my life yet. And my answer to him was, you better hurry your ass up. True. <laughs> <laughs> so that's my life advice. What you got, Donnie? True. Why do I have to go second? <laughs> All right. <laughs> go ahead, Caitlin. I want to I want to think about this for a second. Uh, I want to see what yours is going to be. I'm just going to... I'm, I'm babe. <laughs> babe. <laughs> uh, make her laugh. Uh, I think Donnie said this once because if her eyes are closed, she's not looking at you and <laughs> it works out better for you. That's a good one. Dang. People are always stealing my life advice. What's your life advice? <laughs> Enjoy the little things. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Don't take life too serious. We're not going to make it out of love. Yep. No one but makes that laugh. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Go where you're appreciated, not tolerated, I guess. Womp, womp. Where's that little thing? Um Yeah, I already gave mine. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So hurry up and get to the point in your life where you think things through. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But don't overthink them, like yeah. Leroy was saying. Um yeah, so we're on to the next one. I'd like to thank Rock and Roll Denim, K and Am. Um, off road, we've got American hats, Excalibur containers, and lastly, total feats for keeping us going here at the ranch, the warehouse, and uh, check out dalebrisby.com for all this wonderful Dale wear that you're hearing us wear. <coughs> Love you, thank you, pow pow. On to the next one. <coughs> here, there's the illustrious Dale Brisby right there. Well, Dale, yeah. He's up early this morning. Look at that. Heavy range. The man has two lives. And the second one starts the moment he realizes he only has one. Also, an apple a day keeps everyone away if you throw it hard enough. Get out of my hole, bro! Get in your hole! You boys ready? I better go to the bathroom first. Hold on, guys. Give me a second. Bring me some cows. More cattle. More cattle. No, no, I said cows only. Why are y'all pushing them over the top of me? Ooh. I got this one, you old whippersnapper. Whoop! Look out. Bingo. Got him. Ready? Woo! Uh. Lean back. Got it. You feel yes, secure? Sir. You feel safe? Feel safe in my arms? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Keep ranching. Keep ranching. Look out from the wise old cowboy. Woo! Good cut. Nobody? Nobody. Good cut. Oh, y'all waiting on me? You ain't waiting on me, old son. Step in it. Step in it. Step in it. Go to the back of the herd and find the biggest calf. I don't care. Bring him. We're counting that one as a catch. <laughs> when he brings you this next one, oh, you want to get down low, okay? Come in there. Be ready. Step in it. Step in it. How many years have you been 67 now? At least five. Y'all better give me my fishing license. I got my fishing license for this year. Ah, almost had him. Okay, pull it, pull it, okay, okay, get on, okay, get on, you, 
got it. Now hold him back. Now lean back. Okay. Oh. Pay attention. Be paying attention. Pay attention, Cam. Where's the iron? Where's the iron? Where's the medicine? Pay attention, medicine. We got a uh, ear tag. Ear ta Gabe. Where's your cowboy? Okay. Be paying attention, Gabe. Watch your cowboy. Is that Brandon iron hot yet? Coming in like a missile. Front leg, all right. I got him. Bet you guys didn't know that I know karate. Ha! Woo! Woo! Oh, two feet! Two feet, boys! Two feet! Keep pulling, dollar! Boys, where y'all want him? Where y'all want him? What happened? How'd you let him kick out of it? Give me that back. Oh, yeah. You want to rope the other ones? Woo! Got him! Oh, shh. He ran through it. Shucked him. Leroy, your turn. I got to take a pee. Resume Brandon. <laughs> My turn to rope. Ugh. Brandon! Brandon! Down lower. Pay attention. Hands. Hey, face the front. Face the front. Part, party in the back. Business in the front. Front. Okay. Oh, get your spread your get your base wide. Get your base wide. Yeah. Yeah. There, boy. Brandon, uh, let him up, Donnie. Uh, oh, uh, give me a little something. Oh, uh, gotcha. Okay. Uh, I need to. Oh. Gabe, you're in. I gotta go to the bathroom. Uh, oh. Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. Oh, I'll be right back. Oh, I got to take care. Of, talk to a man about a horse. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, horses do it in here, why can't I? Ugh. What, y'all got some paper? Don't be pooping in the trailer! Guys, I just kind of let him do what he wants. I just let him do what he wants. He'll get it out of him. This is his world, guys. You gotta let these horses do what they want. Hey, instead of flanking them, why don't we use a calf table this time? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I don't know if I really feel like roping today. You mind if I run that vaccine gun? Hey boys, who wants a cold one? Regular water? Mineral water. Hey, why, why don't we just band them? Not use the knife? No, just use my hair tie. Okay. Just grab your one leg. Oh, great shot. High on the hawk. What have you been doing for your skincare routine? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. Sorry guys, it's 10.30, time for brunch. Madeline's, be there. I don't need a hat anyway. If he steps on it, it's okay. I just let him do what he wants. Are we keeping these? No. No? Y'all ever think about turning goats out instead of cows? Has anybody got some baby powder for my rope? Cocoa butter before I bathe. Man, let's get rid of these calves and let's go to farming. Does anybody got any tape? My nipples are starting to chafe. Conditioner all over my body while I bathe. Hey, I think I dislocated my elbow. Can you cover for me? Yeah, I got it. These needles are too big. You got any BC powder? I think I got a migraine. Sorry, man, I'm out. I don't have hemorrhoids. Maybe just take your spurs off and slick heal him. Hey, why don't we just give him pills? I didn't, I didn't get the cowboy hat memo. There's Starbucks around here, kind of want a latte. I think he hates cows too much. 
Dove soap after I bathe. Don't rinse it off. Let's see how anybody can drink sweet tea. I am making so much money on these cows. Cows literally equal wealth. You gotta snort ground up rhino horn. It's very hard to get, very hard. Um, I probably can't afford it. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. A lot of people have been asking me about my skincare routine, but first, before I tell you about it, smash that subscribe button. You know, I'm just not crazy about half tops. Wanna go play some Fortnite? I was thinking disc golf. Ugh, even better, I'll grab my turtleneck. I'm tired of pearl snaps. Right? Bring back buttons. They're too convenient. Ugh. Cheers. Okay, yeah, this way. Raider Ranch, holler it off. I'll be waiting. Show these whippersnappers a thing or two about ranching. Whoa, whoa. Uh, oh, dollar. Oh, wish she had some preparation age dollar. Ain't got many of them left in me now. Got him, boys. Oh, whoa, dollar. Oh, Dollar. Oh, let me get my phone. Hey, are you my next man? How far over are you? Oh, oh now I guess I'll, let me get out myself. Stay with me now. Raider Ranch. I never heard him holler. I'm gonna do some tuning on him. Figure eight. Disengage the hip. Figure eight. Step over. Where are the cows? Turn around. Look out, boys. He'll turn on the dime. You gotta put the dime under his front feet, but he'll turn on it. Heavy ranching out here. Hey, 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 he's talking to other horses. Heavy ranching, uh, something you younger kids, y'all don't know nothing about. You're good till about mid-morning, then you gotta go get brunch, wearing your turtleneck, sipping your French lattes, okay? The only thing French about this cowboy is fries at the diner, at lunch, cause that's when I quit. It's a couple hours later. Dollar, is that a cow? just in case they're coming. They call me to rope the big stuff. Big loot, short spoke, can't miss. I think I heard them this way. You look that way. I'll watch for him this way, Dollar. Raider Ranch. Ah! Dollar! Whoa! Whoa, Dollar. Whoa! The cows are over there anyway. No more splitting up, Dollar. I know it's better odds of us finding cows if we split up. Dollar, I think I see some cattle. Let's get in a cow fight. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, boy. Here come, boys. Here come. Here come. Whoa, whoa. 
Got it. Here they go. Here come, boys. Woo! Woo! Here come, boys. Got them gathered. Got them gathered. Good job, fellas. Everybody's in line. Sorry, Donnie. My young coat here. <clears throat> Look out, boys. He's bucking. He's bucking. Hold on. Sorry, guys. We have to hold up, Dollar. Don't throw a fit. I'll get the gate. I got. I can do it horseback. I'm kibble. <clears throat> Dollar, get up there. Open the gate. Go forward, not backwards. Look at that sunbuck swirling around. It's a good day here at Guacamole Camp, as is every day. Part of the thing though with ranching is dealing with predators. Leroy here was out here on this here hill and says he saw a rattlesnake. Where is this um, said rattlesnake? I was standing on that rock. The snake was right there and then he went into that right there. He went in right there? Yes. Oh my gosh, there's your boy. That's not just one snake. Yeah, it is. No, <gasps> no it's not. That's like three snakes. How are we going to do this? Ah! We need to reach out there and get your lens. Oh. We need to reach out there and get your gun is what we need. They ain't even rattling. We just moved their whole house. Ah. 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 Look at that sunbuck swirling around. That's oh. evil. That's pure evil right there. Oh. I don't know where that third one went, but I'm going to get you. What if, he's, what if that rattle's calling all their other ones? What if it's... That is what it's doing, Leroy. Yeah, Man, that me. sucker's long enough. You're close enough. It could get you right there. Hold on. Someone's calling. Hey. What's, get off your phone, man. Pay attention to that snake. I had to check and see who it was. You guys be quick with it. Throw him in there. No, get his head. Oh, oh, yeah, get him. Get him. <laughs> oh, I got him. Woo! Woo! Rattlesnake in a can. <laughs> two snakes in a can. Yeah. yeah. Don't fall off the rock. I'm not. One, two, three. <laughs> Bring that truck up here closer. Woo! Boys, we got us another snake den. Uh-uh. Man. Oh, dang, dude. That's a little one. That's a man killer right there. They're all man killers. Well, the big ones won't put that much. Gosh, Dad, we're going to flip that rock over there. There's going to be like 19 of well, Let's them get this there. big one out of the let's way. Let's get this one behind us out of the way. That way we're not surrounded. What? I bet there's probably like seven under this little one. That's good. Enjoying this. Uh, uh. Yeah, Dell's collarbone is snapped. It's rodeo time. We're out here ranching. Spring works is, is among us. Get around them, Dale. Buster, are you gonna ride that bull when we get him in a pen? Bulls are made to breed cows. Horses are made to ride, bulls are made to breed cows. What horse is that? All right, let me guess, he's for sale too. Everything's for sale. Everything's for sale. You want to buy his leggings? How much you want for them briefs? These, these briefs? Yeah, your undies. He's not wearing undies. Did you hear that? If you wear underwear, you ain't no cowboy. Boy, Donnie. Perfect, perfect.
good learning edu educational process for everybody. Wait, including you? Including me. Oh, okay. Here we are at West Camp. Pasture number two. Cows everywhere. This cow's been missing for two weeks. Who you have here today? Um, we've got a, a really good crew, Buster Frierson, and uh, he's the vaccine queen today. We've got Mr. Corey Pippen, who is also my farrier, Donnie Ray Daytona, Gabriel Bresenio, Pedro Flores, Martinez Ramirez, and then uh, of course Joe. Joe is still on probation. <laughs> What's a day of ranching without finishing off with a little bit of rodeo? Ain't that right, Donnie Ray Daytona? Oh, I bet you. Yeah. We, uh, we're about to buck them all, son. Leroy came in yeah. hot. He's going to run a neck rope. Me and uh, Buckethead. We got Mr. Uh, Buster out there. He's not riding Buster Rhymes, though. We're ranching all, son. Rodeo time. things happen. Donnie got to drag for the first time, did real good. Gabriel, um, we let the whole team flank some calves. What else happened? We got to go eat Mexican food? Yeah. What else happened? Drank a few beers. Donnie, Leroy, kicked, uh, drank a few cold ones. Donnie got on a bucking horse. Oh, oh, uh, I broke my collarbone. That's, that's, what, that's what that was. Yeah, 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 that's what that was. Yeah, Dale's collarbone is snapped. Um, that's what that's what happened. I, I Judy forgot. Judy chopped. <laughs> yeah, uh, I got Judy chopped. Gosh dang, I am in so much pain right now. Are you ready? I mean, I guess. All right, I'll be as quick as possible. Okay. Well, I mean, don't just jab it in there. Yeah, well, I'm not gonna go slow either. Are okay? we gonna count? If you want me to, I can. What are we counting to? Three. It's perfect. You want to count to three? Yeah. Are you counting or am I counting? I'll count for you. Are you going on three or after three? Like three, two, one. And then in on one or after three, two, one, and <laughs> three, two, one, poke. Okay. All right. Three, two, one, go. Woo, that stings. Yeah. Woo, it does sting. Yes, it does. It stings more after than why you got the needle in. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's pretty rough. <laughs> oh. But it should help. Hopefully, the relief will be worth it, okay? But. And I did get you an ice pack, too, see if that can hold off some of the pain for a little bit. You bet. All right. There's not much swelling yet. But good, good. Just slap that rascal. Slap it right there. there. Oh. <laughs> that feel okay? Oh. Numb it up some. Oh. <laughs> you all right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. 
All right, let me know if you need anything, okay? Uh, <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. Thank you, and have a good day. You too. Don't get on that bucking horse at the house I got. She pushed this ice pack down, like, man, that, we're, oh, she, we're gonna do away with that right there. That ain't gonna work. Daddy's in some pain, y'all. Wes has been uh, coughing and snorting and burping and all the whatnot. He might have the Billy Ray Cyrus virus, so I made him. But but I'm not one to like let people take a day off, so I put him in the hot dog suit. Ow! <laughs> that freaking hurt! <laughs> Do it again. Ow! Randy said was do it again. <laughs> you heard that noise. That... Get back. It's kind of similar to that noise that we used to hear when we were kids. Whenever the belt comes off, it run through those belt loops. Pop, 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 pop. Ooh. All right, let's feed. Enough jacking around. Get him, fish. Get him, fish. I told you I had a surprise waiting for you at the truck, you dumb son. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that was close. It was real close. We got her going in. Welcome to Wintery Winneb Winnebago. Welcome to Winneb Wintery. It doesn't even sound right. It's not supposed to be this cold. Gosh dang, my freaking hands are freezing right now. But I'm tired of y'all. Man, you tried North Dakota, tried little, little, little. It was negative six, I don't care, okay? I live in Texas. Okay, it's a cold front. It's February, it's the middle of February, it's winter time. It's gonna be gone soon, it's gonna be back to summery, warm, warm Winnebago. How much better does that sound? You know what I'm saying? Golly, having to bring in animals, put them in the floorboard. <sighs> That's a whole nother story. And um, it, it's one I'm glad I get to tell because I like the ending. Sit back, listen, and uh, enjoy this story of what's gone on in Winnebago with um, a baby calf. Maybe more. Check it out. Joe, you almost got yourself off probation finding this cow seeing her before I did. We'll take a newborn baby calf and rain any day. But we'll take twins! All the days you want to give us twins, 77. We'll take twins all the days. That was a good sale barn buy right there. Well, if they both make it. I think we should take them to the house. What do you think, Joe? Do that, Yodi. See the other one? Look at him circling. Two yokes. Catfish just got in a fight with one. Get him! Mama's tired. Look at that bastard. Oh my goodness. I want to go to the truck, get the gun, and come back. Oh, I had to get on holding the calf because there's twins, two cows going around us. I had to hand Joe one. So Joe couldn't help me with the second one. You might be off probation, Joe. Gosh dang, I think there's three cows. That, that right there is darker. Don't worry, Mama. Yo, you're coming to the house. You gotta follow us though, okay? Watch out here, ranch. Whoa, don't get up, cow. Look at him. <laughs> Look, Cap is about to fight with that Yodi. Look at him. Go to him, fish. Go to that. It's like you're, the cow's out on watch. The cow's being deets. Look at this son of a buck. Get him, fish. Oh my gosh, if I didn't have a, cat, a calf in my saddle right now, you dumb. Get him, fish. Get him, fish. He looks sick or something. 
There's two of them. Ooh, you better not follow me to the truck, you son of a bitch out here. Oh. Look at him fighting that dog. Follow me to the truck. Otherwise, your mom ain't got no neck. Both of y'all. Look at him following me. I promise, I'm sorry, Snapchat. Y'all about to see some dead Yodis. Follow me to the truck. Bring him on in. He don't know it. But he's about to meet his end once we get to this flatbed dodge. Life is hard, but it's harder when you're stupid. On to the next one, old son. Whoa, whoa, Buster Rhymes. Been doing this whole time. Now you want to take off. Good job, Joe. Good job, Fish, for fighting that rascal. It's wild that she had twins. It's wild that we found them. It's wild that we were getting um, circled by three coyotes. And it's even wilder that they fought us back to the truck. And um, I did warn him in my defense. I warned him, didn't I, Joe? Come on, fish. Now we gotta catch the mama. There she is right there. I just saved your babies. You come at me like that? Oh, jeez. What is your deal, 77? We just saved your baby's life. All right, unload the horses. I'm, I'm done with this. Yeah, we did, Joe. Yeah, we did. That a boy, Buster Rhymes. That a boy, Badge. We almost got hooked down in the cow pen. Super punching! If you don't... Hey, hey, you be quiet, I'm filming. If you don't warm up your twins in the back seat, you know, cowboy. Um, sorry, Donnie. One of them just peed on your leggings. But don't worry, Donnie, she peed on me too. <laughs> or maybe I had the other one. Uh-oh. I need some new reflex rock and roll. There you go, mama. Get back, fish. I told you I was trying to help you. Is that your buddy now, fish? One night, all right? One night, that's all you're getting. There you have it. Sometimes these uh, these storms, you know, they'll cause a cow to calf, and uh, we were able to save those twins. Great story. Um, this beautiful mama right here, unfortunately, just lost her calf last night. We just found it, and I uh, was born in the middle of the night. And, uh, Nothing we can do about it. Sad day. That's ranching though. So if you want to be a rancher, you got to be ready for these days. The cold front comes in. Might make your cow calve without you knowing it. And then doesn't make it. We're on to the next one, old son. It's a good day. We saved two calves. Foul pal. <clears throat> Who's calling me? Somebody hand me that phone. 
What's up, old son? What's up, Dale? How are you, man? You busy? No, I'm not busy. Just riding bulls and punching fools. Uh, dude, I was just sitting here. I was thinking that we need to release these Yee Yee Old Son t-shirts we made today. What do you think? Yeah, that's cool with me, old son. Hey, I'm gonna have to call you right back, okay? Let me do so. I gotta do this real quick. Let me call you right back, old son. I gotta keep it 90. Yeah. Pow, pow. Yeah, that's uh, cool. Yee Yee. Right. Yee Yee, old son. Release a shirt. Yeah. Son. I rolled up in old McDonald's and laid their uniform down and said, peace out. What year was it that you were working at McDonald's? Yeah, that's what I was going to no. say. I want to know about this McDonald's job. Oh, that was, I guess, that would have been 2003. And then, and then the ball bearing plant? That was in uh, 2005. Those were your last two, like, real jobs? Yeah. I mean, I did all kinds of odd and end stuff. Right. But. But like a regular, you got to show up. Yeah. Yeah. And then you're like, I'm making enough money bull riding. I would have loved to be your friend when you worked at McDonald's. Dude, let me get a large fry. Here's a whole bag. Ugh. I would have just hooked you up, yeah. I know. I used to love those fries. I still like them. I ate a lot of chicken nuggets. How long did you work there? Oh, it was, I can't remember. Probably six, eight months. Yeah. And then uh, a lady that... She's a chiropractor and ran barrels. She offered me a job riding horses and taking care of her place. So I rolled up in old McDonald's and laid their uniform down and said, peace out. Yeah. See ya. Hands of leather, Didn't you jump out the window? Mm -mm. My buddy, boy I grew up with, Landon, uh, been friends since elementary school. He was working there too, and he was all mad that I was quitting and getting another job. So... I went outside after I told him I was quitting, and I called the lady. I said, is there enough work for two of us to do? She said, can y'all work together? I said, yeah, we work together now. She said, yeah, there's enough. So I went back in there, and he was on the clock, and I was like, hey, you want this? You want to go to work with me? Same amount of money an hour and everything. And he took his uniform off and laid it down. We both left. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all left at the same time? Oh, yeah. Yeah, gotcha. He's the one that fought bulls, right? Yeah, he fights bulls now. Does he still fight bulls? Yeah. JB, what's happening? Where are you going? Man, you will never guess. We got a GoPro on Wes's chest. We've got shrub grubber in the out gate. And Wes and I are about to put a hand on a top rail and two feet in the arena. If I lose, he gets $700. If he loses and I win, he has to start paying rent. You gotta be limber when they hook you. If you tense up, that's when you get hurt. Yeah, you gotta go no bones. It's like a drunk in a car accident. He always survives. <laughs> yep. He's relaxed. Yep. You gotta relax and just take it. So we're gonna put Shrub Grubber in a pin. Last one, take your hand off the rail. Gets the cash. Alright, I got my spot. Where is it? Wes, you're not in the arena. I think I'm gonna go to this back right corner. He doesn't ever go over here. You know what I'm saying? Wes chose like literally the closest spot to where that bull eats and drinks. Now, the Can-Am is parked there, so that whole thing might deter him. Yeah. Oh, dang. <laughs> Easy truck driver. Ooh, boys. Hey, bully, 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 bully. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty scared right there. <laughs> so this is now round two. Round two is just, we're both on one side of the arena, closer, Donnie and Leroy are gonna try to push the bull towards us if he doesn't come and hook one of us. There will be a round three. If this doesn't work, we're building a turn back pin. Or we're gonna do it in the back pins. Mr. Shrub Grubber! Oh. 
You know it's fair because he beat me at rock paper scissors and then he picked that spot i don't think the bull's gonna hook him if you noticed he went up then i went up my foot was down he hooked my foot doesn't bother db oh i'm watching my back me and trub grubber got an agreement that he only hooks west talked about it yesterday hmm what rodeo time is this i don't know it's the rodeo time where wes is started to pay rent. May 1st. May 1st. Happy mustache May, buddy. Rent's due on the 4th, by the way. Whew. Get on his head. Get on this steer's head. It's a party on the beach. It's rodeo time. Last buck out of 2020. Bittersweet. It's kind of chilly, but it's a nice day in Texas. I'm gonna buck some horses, buck some bulls. Glad you're joining us. Bronks are caught, bulls are about to be loaded. Hope y'all are ready. Rodeo time. You ready, Leroy? Hey, Leroy, come over. We're all gonna hang out and get some friends coming. No, he wants me to come work. I didn't know we were bucking horses. I had a war with a cowboy hat and boots. But he didn't want to tell me nothing. So I didn't know, I don't even know why I was coming over here. I thought the interns were supposed to be carrying this stuff. Didn't happen. Leroy's carrying. As you can see, if you watched the last episode of Rodeo Time, we got my man Rickle over here down, hip out. That's all thanks to New Mexico Bad Boy. And today's not gonna be his last trip ever. And it's not gonna, it may not be his last trip here. It will be his last trip here as a resident of Radiator Ranch. Cause he's going to go live at JB's. So JB might bring him back at some point, but he keeps trying to kill all the bulls. So I just gotta move him for now. I don't have the pen space for him. And uh, so I got a few bull hands here, um, Tyler Kipps and Hudson. They're gonna hopefully put the boots on him because uh, he needs to get spurred before he heads out. You know what I'm saying? Probably buck him first. It's 5'11's, uh, hopefully not his last trip. He's had some weak trips lately and uh, we're hoping that he's got a new fire under his belly so he doesn't have to leave with uh, New Mexico bad boy. It's the moment of truth right here. Good job, Hudson. You rode the buck out of it. Bull ride. <laughs> See, Kips, that's one I'm not going to get on. Oh, yeah, we're shoot. calling him out for him. Out of a possible 100, how many do you give him? You told me earlier he was in the right pen. <laughs> not for DB. <laughs> I need a bucking horse like that for Donnie. Yeah. Something that slow.
your spurs? Still on the bull? Oh yeah, they go. Still in the rope? His they spurs go. are still in the rope. How you feel? New full. I was feeling all right until I found out my new shirt was ripped. You rode him good. Yeah. I cannot believe that you came out of that unscathed. But them old bell straps, I tell you what. You rode that bull 14 seconds, spurring him, <laughs> but you were hung to him upside down longer than that. <laughs> yeah. He was like, I'll show you. You want to ride me that long, I'll show you. That's right. I think Prison Mike needs to go back to the pen. <laughs> <laughs> Famous last words, Prison Mike needs to go back to the pen. <laughs> He, he got right yep. there, right he in the came corner. all the way down, mm -hmm. then went back. He went straight down the middle. And you can see where that line stops. And then I came off of his head right there at that the total feed sign. Yep. Plug. <laughs> <laughs> Plug. Here. Dr. Harry is smiling. Yeah. 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 A little something for you. <laughs> Plug. Thanks. Thanks for stopping your journey right at my yeah. sign. <laughs> I'm gonna take him to the total food side. Right this is you. for you, Dr. Harry. <laughs> Beaches of Winnebago sure tastes good. Sit up. Keep going. Sit up. You all right? That could have been so much worse. I mean, that ain't me. That's that old plank. Pick up. Yeah. Are, are, are you sore? No, I'm, I'm going to ride a saddle horse. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, hello. Easy. 2020, man. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Flank fell off of Jacob's horse. I'm going to try uh, this is Buster Rhymes. I'm going to see how he likes picking up. Baptist is about the easiest horse to pick up, so I figured it'd be a good one to try it, Milo. So let's get close gate. We got Will Walker. Uh, why didn't you tighten your binds yesterday? Just feeling tight. I thought it might help a little bit. That's an interesting accent. You're from Oklahoma? Yeah, the panhandle. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's how a lot of those. I claim Oklahoma. Kansas sometimes too. Right. Yeah. Uh, so your binds were a little tight. You lost your right swell coming out of there. Swell so coming out of there. Didn't get back under. Just sort of got stuck and decided to save myself. Um, for those of you that have been watching and you've seen the Baptist, he normally doesn't make that tight of a circle. I think it's because our man Will here from Oklahoma uh, pulls a left rein and that horse wanted to make that tight left, which it probably didn't feel as... It did. Didn't feel great. Yeah. Didn't feel great. But we'll be back, work on it next time. It'll be better. Bareback riding, it's a little more flashy when they make that tight circle. Bronc riding, you want a little more room. Um, sure I did. Where are you from? Australia. Whereabouts? New South Wales. Gotcha. How long have you been over here? Uh, two years. I went home for six months last year. Got surgery on my shoulder, surgery on my wrist. Came back, went to two rodeos, got surgery on my other shoulder, and just got back on. Got cleared last week. Going to school? I was. Wasn't Where? for me. Yeah. What you doing now? Just rodeoing. Just Fine. rodeoing. <laughs> All son, just rodeoing. On to the next one. Thanks for having me. Vroom, 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 vroom. That's him <laughs> turning up, shifting gears as he's on to 2021. Uh, Bareback Jack, we got Ross Sherrod, uh, two tours in Iraq, uh, former um, roommate of mine, as well as Jacobs. 
me, Jacobs, Ross, Leroy, we all lived in the house at the same time, rodeoing, and, but yeah, he's, uh, he's, he's a bad guy. Really good wrap to the end of the year. Everybody's healthy, come out of it unscathed, and uh, we're on to the next one, which is kind of uh, kind of the same thing with all of us in 2020. You know, parts of it sucked, but we're on to the next one. And uh, whew, a few close calls. We bucked bears, bronx, and bulls today. That's that's a good day on the beaches. Got Buster Rhymes, aka Birthmark, had his first out. Picked up an old uh, Oklahoman. And uh, a lot of wins today. Thank you for joining us. Rodeo time 222. We're on to the next one, old son. Anybody else want another one? Anybody else want another one? <laughs>